Hello, I am Kitty Cell. Um, well, of course I am, because this is my channel. But, um, yeah, I'm Kitty Cell. I'm a kind of FX makeup person. <laughs> I'm going to get my cosmetics degree at a s school later in my life. I'll show you guys that if, if I get in. Um, but, yeah. This is Beauty Breakers. Okay, so today I am going to use a wig cap. My wig cap that's just like so beautiful. Wig cap. <laughs> that was a weird noise. Okay, we are going to put the lid back on this because I left something up when it smells like chemicals. That's, that's great. Um. I also have a candy cane in here, so I might be munching on that later. Um, okay, so I have some liquid latex. I also have a wig. Do not mind the face on this wig, per this wig head, but I love this wig. I haven't been able to wear it yet, but I will. And I also have a Gandalf. I think it's Gandalf. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. A Gandalf cloak over there that'll look really cool with this wig thus I am going and so I will be turning myself into an old lady so <laughs> also comment below if you think my eyebrows are on fleek right now cuz like they're awesome I'm weird that, that was weird I'd never do that that that's weird um my hair is also really frizzy right now. <sighs> also, I will put the link down to, below to my new favorite website. It's It has wigs, it has dresses, and it's, like, awesome. It can be, like, it's a cosplay site, too, partially. Um, but, yeah, let's see. Okay, so, first of all, you're going to want to accentuate any lines in your face that you have with a sorry I had to grab a palette okay so you're going to want to accentuate your lines with a dark couple tones darker than your skin I am very pale so this will be easy for me um So first I'm going like this with this. That is not working. Okay, different color. Different brush. Yes, different brush. And I have blue hand right now. Um You can hear my mom downstairs. Whoa. Well, yeah. I'm just going to accentuate new lines. Do not mind my weird technique. The weird faces. Face stuff I make. Yeah, I guess I'll do, put that in the crease because that looks good. And. to go over these lines these forehead lines that are really weird okay sorry I had to go talk to my mom but um yeah just gonna accentuate these lines This is just a rough sketch, so you can see it under the latex. If you do not have latex, I would use glue, just like some school glue. This 
this pattern kind of makes me think of my cat. Because my cat has this kind of pattern on, her, on his face. Well, one of my cats does. I have a couple cats, but... Um, this is just a rough sketch. It's not going to do much. But, I mean, it's a rough sketch. You're just going to... Take anything and everything you have, like this. Just make some rough marks. You need to wet down your brush a little. It's okay, because that'll help. Make the lines. I almost feel like I should use the eyeliner. feel like you need to use a brown eyeliner or something. That's fine. But I'm going to stick with this because I know this technique better. This way. So, okay, so you're just gonna... Accentuate any marks. That was my phone, if anyone was wondering. Let's see, who was that? Because my friends watch these videos, and wow, I am already starting to look weird and old. Okay then. <laughs> I'm already starting to look weird and old, that's, that's great. Um, that was Breezy, Brianna. The mysterious voice behind the camera most of the time. Oh, Jenny. <laughs> I'm so okay. I'm like okay. I'm good with impressions. Like I am going to be a voice actor, so it makes sense. I think there's my phone ringing. <coughs> okay. Breathe. Do I have any water in here? That's better. And I'm crying now. That's, that's great. Okay. I'm going to make marks in my nose now. I'm going to accentuate those lines because I feel the need to. Okay, so this will kind of help, but it'll also not help. Okay, now we are going to write those off. This did not make any sense. It just did. But hey, nothing's perfect. Nobody's perfect. Why am I singing the song? She ruined my life as a child. <laughs> she did. It's true. Oh, shit. I seriously can't breathe when I do that sometimes, so. And 
my boogers. Uh, shit. It's okay. This is why I'm going over these marks. Okay, and then I also kind of have a little chin, so I guess I would go like this. It's just, it's real hard to talk like this. I just hope you can understand what I just said. Because I sure didn't. Yes, this is a very, this is a brow brush, it's just that it works the best. Because it makes very fine lines on my skin. And it just helps me map things out. Okay, now. Okay, maybe not that, but still. I still look pretty old. I guess we'll put some blue under here too. To make us look like really tired. Saggy. Blue does that. Ooh, I've never used this blue before. It's really pretty. I'm a weirdo. Basically, I'm going to take my liquid latex and I have this jar because I don't have a bowl right now. And I'm just going to take the lid off of here. I also use my liquid latex to use prosthetics. You have multiple over there that I really don't really have anything to use it for yet. I will though. Once I figure out what they look most like. And I just poured this and it looks like a little jar of milk but it does not smell like anything like milk it smells gross like your cat feces <laughs> I know what that smells like sadly <laughs> and I'm going to take this brush and I am going to take it and I will cover it all over my lines my lunge! I came from my lunge. But now I'm with you. And I like it. Yeah, I like it. Basically, you're just gonna do that all over your face. Except for. Except you might wanna be careful while you do your. around your eyebrows. Actually, I forgot to put. do one step. It's. Take some lotion or some Vaseline, put it over your hair so that you don't get your hair stuck in it. That will not be good. Also, I need to hurry up because this latex is going to dry and that's not going to be good. Okay. And one eyebrow. Yeah. Two eyebrow. Yeah. And that just happened. Well then. Um. Oh yeah, also you might want to stretch your face out. So I'm going to do this. And hold my face. This side. Is 
a paint this latex on. Well, at least kind of paint it on, I guess. And you're just going to let We'll let it dry for a while and then you're going to keep adding on coats and I'm going to do I guess five coats I'm thinking yeah this is not the right ow ow yeah well, you're going to do like five coats I'm going to do five coats um yeah so yeah I'm in this position right now and also, you might not want to get, try to get it on in your nose. And by the way, this stuff really smells, and I have to keep my head like this while I do this. And keep going from this layer, keep laying on to here, and then I'm laying on to my to my um lip of my lip above my lip. Because grandpas have these big wrinkles. Grandmas and grandpas have these big wrinkles above their lip. It's, I'm like, slobbering when I talk. That's great. But, yeah, they have these big things above their lip. These big wrinkles. I'm trying to get myself like that. So I'm just gonna, and I just ripped some of the latex, that's just great. I'm just gonna go like this. Because I can't really have a blow dryer up here. In my room from over here, because I don't have an outlet near my bed. And I'm sitting on my bed. And I can't put my camera anywhere else where it'll be stable. to feel better and I'm just gonna layer on some more layers this up here is almost done I just know that I'm not done down here so just trying to get that done um yeah I have it in my hair that's that's great um yeah you really don't want this in your hair I know what it's like and it really hurts and sometimes it actually pulls your hair out and yeah, really hurts. Yeah. Yeah. I just happen to have sticky notes up here and on my bed and that's a good way to wipe this off. Your lip if you get it on your lip because you don't want to eat this because I don't think it's edible or non-toxic so yeah okay this is a lot this upper part looks done that looks awesome I guess. I just really hope it does not, this latex does not stick to my hair because that will be painful. Okay, let's see how this is doing. Okay, so this. Well, this is a thing. Um, but. Otherwise. I think this part needs more, and then once this is done, we'll move on to other parts.
and I'll show you guys. Okay, so it's really hard to move my face right now, and my phone's going off like crazy. Um, but, like, I, um, now I'm just doing, down here. I've been doing it for a while. And I just kind of set my face like this. And I'm gonna go take a break and finish this part. Okay, so while I am drying down here again, I should let you text, sorry. I'm going to go down here. It. Do not get this in your eyes. And yeah. I just kind of keep cutting these parts. And now I'm going to this side. And I'm also, I think, going to create a prosthetic nose. So yeah. Yeah. This part I think is done. Okay, so we are going to finish up up here. And then I'll finish up here and then I'll do the other side. And make the uh, to the other side off camera and then I'll show then I'll show you guys and we can make that prosthetic nose. Yeah. Okay, well I did that and as I did that I took a small little teapot I have, like a child's doll teapot, like not, no, teacup, child's doll teacup, and I made this a while ago, and I just put a little bit of liquid latex in there, let it sit for a while, I don't know how long, it just took for, until it like was almost clear, like it was like clearish like this. More like new clear, I guess. And so I had that. And then I also had another one of them. Where'd it go? Crap. It's right here. I figured, hey, this girl's got a wart. So I made a wart out of one that I like had that was messed up. And so I'm going to this one somewhere like here and then like this one here or something it's gonna look awesome and it's staying on my face right now so 
this is what we gotta do. Now, though, is put this on, because this is gonna be awesome. Okay, we're gonna just lightly apply the liquid latex to one si the one side of it that you want to use for your face. To put to your face. Okay, so I'm going to put it like this, and I'm going to hold it for a while. And this is probably what the nose is gonna look like. It's gonna look weird, but I... come on, every nose has to look weird. Okay, that can be a vein popping out of her nose. That'll be awesome. Yeah. Okay, so just gonna keep this staying to her nose. And we're gonna add some latex around it to help it stay longer too because I'm going to probably wear this outside for a while. And then also, I need to add the wart. So we're going to put the wart on. Okay, so I'm just going to lightly paint this, I guess, kind of with this latex. And actually, I think I might dip it a little. I'm going to brush it though. See, cover the whole back of it. It looks fine the other way. Okay, and I'm going to just stick it on there and hold it for a couple seconds. I know. I want it over here more. Okay, so Okay, so this is gonna work. Correctly. I'm hoping it is at least. Cause I mean she's gotta have a pretty messed up nose. This might take a while. I'll come back when it's like dry when it's dry and everything. Okay, so it's not really like okay, it's pretty close to being done, but I figure we're going to need some spirit gum to make sure this stays here. Yep, that just happened. So, we're going to use some spirit gum. Make sure it's kind of put down good enough. And yes, Beauty Breakers is going to be a um, going to be a section on my YouTube channel. I am do, going to do a lot on here, so. Okay, I think we're doing good. Okay, since we're done with that part, I am going to... Do I look like an old lady to you guys? But yeah, I'm going to take this real quick and I'm going to get out all the latex that's in my eyebrows.
anyway, so I hope you could hear that noise because it was really weird. And I like weird noises, and I hope you guys do. Okay, so that's as much as I can get on for right now. Okay, now I'm going to go back over with um, a powder I have. Where did that powder go? Crap. <laughs> this is what happens. Oh, there it is. Um, this is what happens when I get confused. <laughs> and we're going to go over my face. With this powder, because it's just light enough for my skin tone. Ow. Okay, that just hurt. Okay, if it's a little white in areas, you might want to cover it with some color that's like darker than your skin tone. That's what I'm gonna do. Some places. Or you know if it's like too dark in places you might want to cover it with white but I mean it's whatever you think you should do right there. I just want to make sure there isn't any, like, shininess. Because it's weird if your face is so shiny. Cause pe old people don't really, like, have that. Elderly don't have that. And this gal is, like, some kind of, like, awesome person. Like, I don't know. Maybe she's a witch. Just know she's, like, old Okay, that should be good enough. Just checking my camera to see if there's any shininess. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to take that brown that we went over everything with earlier. And I'm just going to remake those marks cuz I know there are marks on my face they need to be accentuated with this So, this one, too. Okay, so I'm going to go over it a darker one because I can't get anything. I'm gonna just fill these little crevices over here. Brown. I'm sorry if this is not good footage right now because, like, 
I'm about to get a vlogging camera probably for Christmas and I can't wait. Just going to color this work thing. My nose. Going to color it. Oh my gosh, my brush is so clean. It was like full of like text and now it's just like so soft. I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, so let me tell you this. You're going to have to soak your stuff in it. I literally had to dip it in this to make it work, but it works. Like, you'll let it soak and then it'll look awesome. It'll work amazingly. I'm like, oh my gosh. Then, okay, now I'm going to go over this area with like a very light white-ish color because like I feel like it's still not good enough, but then I'm going to go over this part of my face with a goldish color because that's kind of what this looks like. So I'm gonna color over that with that. Okay, and going back to the brown. And yes, I am switching up the browns because it just it doesn't like seem dark enough for me. For my wrinkles to be. I mean, if you're old, like this lady's supposed to be, you're gonna have some major wrinkles. And you're also probably gonna have dark circles under your eyes. Then, I'm going to create these little things. The end of my eyes, because people have these little, they usually have these little, like, wrinkles over here. So I'll make those. And then I'm going to, Make them over here too. Actually, I'm just gonna make it like dark over here to where they're supposed to be. So, yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, now I'm going to go change into my costume, and I'm going to get someone to take footage of me outside.